natatakot ako baka tanggalin nila yung implant or ano kaya ang problema dito sa ilong ko na to. Hey guys, this is me again, Jen, and welcome aboard to my channel. And yes, I'm back for another video. And for today's vlog, I'm going to take you through my day for my nose appointment and a whole lot more. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe, tap the notification bell so that you'll be notified on my next video, just like this one. So if you are ready, let's begin. So today, I have a doctor's appointment for my nose because as what you can see, grabe pa rin yung swelling dito na part. Mas nahahalata yung swelling dito. It's because the part surrounding my nose, hindi na siya nagsiswelling. Kaya sobrang, tingnan nyo guys. O, diba? Sobrang halata yung swelling niya. Supposedly, I should wait pa for a month in order for this to completely subside or flatten. Today is the 23rd day of post-op. Pero kailangan ko siya ipa-check kay Doc. Kasi I have an upcoming photo shoot soon. Gusto ko na talaga siya mawala. Kasi <laughs> baka sa shoot ko, may bukol ako dito sa nose ko. So that's why I asked Dr. Laxon to have it checked. And ngayon nga yung scheduled appointment ko. Kasama ko pa rin, the ever supportive. So we are now heading to Cosmed. And natatakot ako baka tanggalin nila yung implant or ano kaya ang problema dito sa ilong ko na to. Now for my ears, this is now what it looks like. So what you can see healed na talaga siya. So that's my ear update. Nakakain ako ng chicken, but I'm very careful with the seafood as much as possible. Hindi ako makain ng prawns, hindi ako makain ng shrimp, crabs, um, a little bit of fish. Kumakain na ako and chicken. Parts may tanong ako. Ano masasabi mo sa nose ko? Etong view mo to. Tangos. Pero pag nakaharap, same same lang din. Ano ano ano? Same same lang pag nakaharap. Pero, Pero pag, pag side view, side profile, nahiya yung ilong ko. <laughs> so that's why I love it kasi it's very natural looking. Ito lang talaga, oh, naiinis lang talaga ako dito. So I've been seeing a lot of comments on my TikTok account when I shared my rhinoplasty journey. Sabi nila na dapat nagpa-ailer plastika and all. The reason why hindi ako nagpa-ailer guys, one, it's really my personal choice. Ayoko talaga magpa-ailer kasi for me, mas matagal yung downtime. And as much as possible, gusto ko talaga less scarring lang siya. Kaya nga sobrang natuwa ako na hindi hiniwa yung dito. And another thing, I've been to three surgeons na. So nagpa-consult ako sa tatlong surgeons and all of them, they suggested na hindi ako magpa-ALR kasi maliit yung ALR ko in person. Siguro sa registration ng camera, malaki yung ALR ko but in person, maliit lang siya. So the more that you remove an ALR here, feeling ko magiging ganyan na ako. <laughs> Ayoko naman ng ganyan. Gusto ko lang ganyan lang siya. Para at least may matira pa rin sa angkan ng yamiyamin. <laughs> Kasi ilong to ng yamiyamin, guys. Hindi to ilong ng barangan. And you know the best part about this whole rhinoplasty journey of mine is whenever I breathe, mas maganda yung breathing ko, guys. So kung sino man ang naka, naka ano na dyan ng rhinoplasty, kung if you've experienced the same way, please let me know in the comment section. Pero that's what I noticed. Mas maganda na yung breathing ko unlike before. Siguro dahil lumaki yung butas ng ilong ko. <laughs> ah, ba't alamig na kami mo? <laughs> Dito? Uy, pagkaigat. Magpa-follow up, check up sa ilong. Dilip mag-igat-igat. O, oh, mag-uyab-uyab. So, we're back here sa condo, guys. <laughs> Crazy ka boy. <laughs> so this is what happens during the follow-up checkup. So this one, this is a cartilage of my nose. Nagpuputrud yung cartilage ng nose ko dito. According to the doc, malaki daw talaga yung cartilage ko dito banda sa nose ko. Now the surroundings of the cartilage of my nose is nagsiswelling pa siya. So he needs to wait for two more weeks before he can do something about it. So walang medicine for this one and if ever hindi pa rin siya nagsasubside after two weeks, there's gonna be another surgery. I think paninipisan yung cartilage. 
Actually guys, for this one, I will just really wait for this to subside. It's just that meron lang talaga akong photo shoot na sobrang importante for me. It's once in a lifetime opportunity. As much as possible, gusto ko talaga before that shoot or during the shoot is wala na to. Para sa photo shoot na yon, hindi tabingi yung ilong ko. Um, hopefully lang within 2 weeks is magsa-subside na yung swelling. So far naman, when he checked it, wala namang any signs of infection which is I'm so happy that's what I'm afraid of. Now, about this line na sinabi ko last time on my vlog is ano daw siya? It's the skin na nag adjust pa. That's why there was a line visible here. But once mag-settle na siya, then perhaps hindi na siguro that visible yung line. The one that I mentioned, this one. Ngayon, kakain kami guys. Nung binili kong strawberry shortcake sa Baguio. Mayroon siyang strawberry slices, which is I super duper like. Mmm. And also, guys, may dumating pala na package. So, this is from Team Bards, the Marites chapter. So, sabi na lang, congratulations and happy Hearts Day, Jinilin. We are so happy for you both from Team Bards, Marites version. Diba, Marites chapter, sinabi ko sa inyo. Si Hani, si Yayi, si Lin, si Julie, si Anjo, si Rems, at saka si Luz. Thank you, Team Bards, Marites chapter. I'm peeling it. Oh, it's so so cute! Ang ganda! This is so nice. Thank you, Team Bards! Thank you, Team Bards! Marites, ano nila to sa amin? Valentine's gift. Bye. Ano yan? Ba't ang laki? Ano mo? Ano mo? Ano mo? Ikaw din, ikaw din. Ah, ah, ah. Another set of gifts arrived tonight, guys. This is from Team Bards, not the Marites version. <laughs> now, they sent us viscous, their strawberry shortcake. Tapos nag melt siya. Ayan, ito yung kinain namin kanina, guys. Kawawo. Hala, same photo. Favorite na nila yan. Favorite photo niyo ba to, guys? I found all the answers in you. Bye. Most unexpected person in the most unexpected time. Aww. Lagi ko to siya sa ame. Oh, hello, oh, hello. Oh, Para yung may isang pagjo. <laughs> Shot po na ulit from Tinkerbells. <laughs> grabe naman tong Team Bards grabe. na to. Gra grabe, grabe naman yung mga Tinkerbells. Thank you, Tinkerbells. Kasama namin kayo nag-celebrate. Nakakatawa. You're so cute. Thank you so much. Swerte natin sa kanila, Bards. Yeah. I'm back for another nose update. And today's day 27 post-op. Malapit na siyang mag one month. And this is now what my nose looks like. And as what you can see, there's still a little bit of discoloration on this part. And yung bumps sa area na to is hindi pa rin siya nawawala or it's still swollen. So that's why it's creating an illusion na tabingi yung nose ko. I just really need to wait for my nose to completely heal. I was really frustrated for the past couple of days at nag-trigger yung post-surgery depression ko. First, I really don't believe in it. Marami sa mga friends ko who had their nose done, they prepared me or somewhat like, sinabi nila sa akin, you know what, Jen, there's gonna be a time in your downtime na may experience mo to. And at first, I was like, I don't think so. I'll get to experience that. But, mm -hmm, jokes on you, Jen. Nangyari siya sa akin a couple of days ago. Every day, I kept on checking my face kung may improvement ba. And every day, is wala talaga ako nakikitang improvement. That's the reason why I was so frustrated. I was so sad. Kasi nga, I put myself in this situation and wala akong mabiblame kundi yung sarili ko lang. And seeing that there's no improvement as day goes by, nakakasad siya. As in, but I'm just so lucky because I'm surrounded with my friends friends and I'm surrounded with people who are so amazing and kept on reassuring me that everything's gonna be okay. This will heal. This will flatten. Mawawala yung swelling. This is completely normal. This downtime is completely normal. It happens to everyone. And also, I joined a close group sa Facebook sa mga naka-experience ang rhinoplasty and everyone are posting their journey there and whenever I see posts na similar to my situation, nagiging okay ako. So that's why now, I am okay compared to the last couple of days. And another thing why I'm so frustrated about my situation, guys, it's because days from now, I will have a photo shoot. And for this photo shoot, this is a huge or a big accomplishment for me. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So that's why I really want to make 
sure that I look my best during that time, but nasa downtime stage pa rin ako ng nose ko. Nag-add up talaga siya lahat. I just really can't help but feel, you know, a bit depressed about my situation. But aside from that, as what I've mentioned earlier, I'm really grateful that I'm surrounded with friends who kept on supporting me and also you guys. After I uploaded my rhinoplasty journey, I was really happy seeing the comment section of how you supported me, of how you accepted my decision. Thank you, as in super duper thank you. You don't have any idea of how much it means to me. Right from the start, no, I had the non-surgical rhinoplasty. You were very supportive of me. And now that I had my nose done, surgical na talaga, you still supported me every step of the way. So, as in sobrang sobrang thank you. Maraming 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 salamat. Now, this is to those who are planning on getting their nose done. Let me tell you this, guys. The journey is not easy. You need to prepare not just your bank account, but also your emotional capacity because you'll undergo stages. And it's really bad at some point. The physical pain is bearable, especially if you are someone who has high pain tolerance, which is on my case, I have very high pain tolerance in terms of physical pain. But what comes after that? is much worse. You'll be in constant battle with yourself whether you did the right thing or not. And you can't blame anyone else or you can't put your finger to anyone because you made that decision to yourself. Means then it would really be hard for you to accept it. But once you surpass it, then everything's gonna be okay. I haven't been onto that stage pa, but I'm looking forward to that. But honestly, most parts of what happened to my nose, I'm really happy about it because it's very natural looking and it's not too much for my facial structure. As in, tamang tama lang talaga siya. Ito lang talaga yung nakakapag frustrate sa akin. And also, if I may just add, natutuwa talaga ako every time I'm seeing comments na nagsasabi sa inyo, I really wanted to have my nose done, Miss Jen, kaso nga lang walang budget and all. Financial capacity is such a huge factor before ka makakapag-decide talaga na, okay, sige, magpapasurgical rhinoplasty ako. Kasi it will cost you a lot of money. Mahal talaga siya. So, kailangan mo talaga mag-ipon para makamit yung pinapangarap mong ilong. Now, speaking of ipon, or if you wanted to get an extra income para sa dream purchase mo, it's not just the nose, guys. It may be for a land or sa bahay or you wanted to get that bag or you're saving up for a business and you want to get an extra income, I have something for you guys. For this, the only thing that you need is a stable internet connection and I was able to share it on my previous vlog but let me share it to you again guys. So I came across this one of the best trading platform on the internet and you'll get to earn up to 90% from your capital if you'll get your predictions right. This trading app is called Binomo and it's easy to use and it has a very user-friendly interface. And the app is available both on Google Play and App Store. You may register using the link that I put in the description box below, so just feel free to check that out. And when you register using that link, you'll have a demo account. So what is a demo account? So on that demo account, you will have 1,000 US dollars wherein you can use that in order to study the market. Now, if naubos mo na ang 1,000 US dollars, you can always recharge it by tapping the recharge button. Once you are confident with your trading skills, you may now open a real account and deposit deposit funds. The minimum deposit is 10 US dollars or that's gonna be 500 Philippine peso. But if you will use my code, you can double your deposit. So let's say you will deposit 10 US dollars or 500 pesos, it will become 20 US dollars or 1000 pesos. So don't forget to use my code when you download Binomo. But I just would like to remind everyone that you must be 18 years old and above before you can engage or use the platform. Once again, guys, I'd like to remind you that it's really important for you to study the market, analyze the transaction, and create a strategy because there might be a possibility that you will lose your capital. And lastly, your earnings can easily be withdrawn from your account at walang bawas na commission. So download the app now using the link that I provided in the description box below and don't forget to use my code in order to double your deposit. Basically, that's it for today's vlog, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something and I will definitely take you with me kung ano mang mangyari sa nose ko and I will surely update you with it. Thank you so much again and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye!